everybody, my name is Julie and I wanted to do a quick Invisalign update. I am one week in to my Invisalign treatment to straighten my teeth, specifically my bottom teeth. This one right here is the worst, it is jutting out. This is the, the one next to my canine tooth, you can see. So that one that's jutting out is pressing against this tooth which has a bad chip in it and a repair. And it was just causing just this tooth, the one that's jutting out on the bottom when I'm sleeping or when I'm eating, constantly pressing into that repair was just causing so much discomfort, sensitivity. Anyway, so I really wanna get the my teeth straightened, which I'm doing. Then I'm gonna have the dentist redo the um, enamel on the repair hair so that both of these teeth are the same shape again and then I will proceed with teeth whitening at the end of this journey I already bought the teeth whitener to put in the trays but basically since no one sees my teeth anyway right now I just decided to save my teeth whitening gel until the very end of my treatment my treatment's only six months long here's my experience so far I haven't really had any problem getting the trays out, which I thought might be a problem. I did buy one of those pulling tools from Amazon, or actually I have, I've purchased four of those now. They are super helpful in just like kind of prying the, the uh, retainers out of the aligners out of your mouth. I don't have any discomfort from the actual process of moving my teeth. The only discomfort I'm experiencing is because the attachment on this tooth in particular, the one that's jutting out on the bottom, the attachment is, um, it was glued on and it feels sharp and it rubs against the inside of my lip, creating like a little bit of a, well, a sore spot. I don't know, I wouldn't know if it, I don't know if I would call it an ulcer. It's not quite that bad, but it's definitely feels red and painful. And it's really only in that one spot. So I'm thinking over time as that tooth shifts back where it's supposed to be, it's not going to rub the inside of my lip anymore. And I also went on Amazon and purchased some of that wax that people who have metal braces use to place over the bracket for the same problem of just sort of cutting, like cutting into the soft tissue of the inside of your lips. So that's really my only complaint. I will say that I do feel that the, my teeth have already moved. There, I had two molars in the back where there was a big space in between those two molars and every single time I ate, something would get stuck in between those two teeth every time. And since those two teeth are now closer together, I'm not experiencing that anymore, which is wonderful, I'll have to say. And I'm actually really looking forward to getting my new tray. On Thursday, I go to the dentist again and she's going to check to see if she needs to do any more filing on my bottom teeth and she i will also put in my new tray when i go and i'm, I'm actually really excited about getting my new tray because that new tray is going to continue to work even more at pushing my teeth back into um, alignment and where i want to be with them so i will show you i just ate and then when I eat, I um, after I eat, I brush and floss. And then I pop the retainers back in. I clean them with the um, tap cleaning tablet once a day. I do that in the morning. After I've been sleeping, you know, because of morning breath and all that stuff, that's when I choose to use my cleaning tablets. When I run out of those, I'm going to go buy some Effortnet, which is used to clean dentures. Here's my bottom one. Of course, I would have trouble popping it down after I said I didn't have any trouble getting them. <laughs> anyway, still dealing with the list. S's, S's are a challenge. Z's are getting better. And G, G, a soft G is hard. Still hard. I wonder if this is going to continue for six months or if I'm somehow going to adapt to these things being in my mouth and be able to say those 
consonant sounds a little bit better. <clears throat> As you can see, when they're in, you can't really tell other than the way that it affects my speech. Oh, apparently, I can't say CH either. Uh, you can't really tell that they're even in there. <clears throat> but also because you can't see, no one can see my teeth anyway with these on. That's why I decided to wait and save my tooth whitening gel until the end of this process. Thank you for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. Have a great day.